the moment has come. This will be the final video in this straight lines, long straight lines mini series. Um, it's been a wild ride. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. We laughed, we cried, we cringed, we we gawked, we uh, whatever. So I've just got these last few examples to run through. Molly, there. The general idea is the whole landscape is crisscross with these dealy bobbers and also some angular patchiness patterns and some mixed natural and artificial patterns. We've got this long gash or gouge or ravine or whatever you want to call it, crease, ribbon, something like that, um, groove uh, extending over 100 miles, I believe, and it's just one of many, really. I'm just presenting it as a case study among many possible case studies I could present uh, here. See it continuing. Some places it looks mechanically precise uh, or mechanically straight, and other places it kind of meanders and stuff. So we've that's a common theme that seems to be emerging. Just the the straight for a while, and then and then natural for a while, and then straight for a while, and then natural for a while again and possible arc or sweep here, potentially maybe here as well. That's another signature move, maybe even here. Uh, but we'll check that out. And Mauritania, we are not going to check this out in Google Earth. I just wanted to bring this up as a reminder that long straight lines are present everywhere. And this is a very large scale thingy. Iraq, we will take a very brief look at this area and some additional, I found some additional examples of this. Really, if you kind of zoom in anywhere, you could find a whole bunch of these. So uh, I just want to show a couple more. And there's a closer look at it. This one's kind of got a U shape to it. Oops. And some travel along it here. I've shown these images already. Uh, this place in Brazil I forgot to present in the um, Cartoonish Rivers videos. Uh, I showed the image but I didn't give you the look in Google Earth. But we will check this out. Some kind of collinear aspect extending all the way over here. Maybe even here. Uh, so we will look there. And then lastly we will look at this example in Brazil, this possible straight line and some additional straight lines in the area. All right, so let us hop over to Google Earth. So first up, Mali. That's this country right here. And turn my place marks on. And it's this area is where I have these place marks, although we could really uh, look at anywhere along <laughs> this whole area in Africa. It's kind of the same story. So uh, we'll just we'll just start here on the left uh, on my place marks, and we'll work our way over and check out some of the intermediating patterns. It's a word. So even here, maybe uh, this guy. Yeah. So it's a very long path or groove or ridge and looking more mechanical in some places. Here it looks like it's being used as a road, possibly. And then it kind of goes into this guy. So we have, it's got some curvature to it. It's not perfectly straight. Uh, we do see whether it's just a ribbon of geology or I mean like rock or whether it's and many other mines as well. Again, too many to really present. And some of them are obviously foot trails and roads and stuff, but not all of them is what I'm saying. 
So here we have the groove continuing, or the faint ridge, whatever it is. And here we have like an angular change of direction almost. So it's like like this, and then it angles up this way. So unless it continues like this, yeah, it might actually continue. So it's just a crisscrossing of a whole bunch of lines. And let me go back here and just show this angular patchy hillside look to it. Uh, and here's a settlement, so it may be their work. But there's indications of angularity in many places, um, patchy weirdness. Like I, I kind of already showed a lot of it in the patchy, patchy land episode or videos and even stuff like this like this guy are we looking at a natural feature it's possible um, I don't know and then even these parallel or somewhat parallel aspects see this is kind of like the patchy look I'm referring to although it has multiple different looks mmm all right so we have this path continuing or whatever it is a ridge or something it's just a faint linear feature continuing 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 so here it's looking pretty straight like draw a line here almost dead straight for this portion of it at least and that's five miles that's just a short stretch of it but anything that's dead straight for five miles is questionable questionable in my estimation and again additional lines and stuff uh, not sure if this is the same one but more and of course it should be compared to these more natural uh, like this here, like these large scale creases or whatever they are, differentially eroded uh, um, trajectories or um, like right here. This could be natural or it could be artificial. And um, even the more natural looking ones, I would say, uh, there's a good chance that those are artificial as well, just because we do see more artificial looking ones that bear similarities to the more natural looking ones. So we have to be careful about what we write off, even if it does look natural immediately. So like this, this I could see this being either, certainly. Uh, some definite uh, mechanical straightness to it, like, ooh, like that. I don't even know if I have a place mark here, but this is something seen pretty, and even this maybe, but fairly global phenomenon, just this straight, pathy ridge thing uh, going up a hillside or a mountainside. Uh, certainly in Mauritania we saw it and maybe another similar type of deal here. Yeah, so it's, it's just a feature of the African landscape. And also I found some of this in California as well, which I'll be showing in the artificial sculpted coastlines episode. Um, let's see, Gin, Gin Fitti. All right, Bod Bodia Rinko. I'm just admiring these names here. So this would be a short, straight one, potentially artificial, and again, needs to be considered in the context of the more natural looking ones. So is it just statistical chance that some of the natural looking patterns happen to be straight for a while? Uh, and they're and they are in, in fact natural, that's possible. I'm leaning 
not towards that. Uh, okay. So is this our original groove? Um, I lost where we stopped. Uh, so we covered this. And what about up here? So here's kind of like these fine parallel uh, or somewhat parallel grooves. I could see that being natural. Uh, more stuff. Where was it? Oh, right here. So we have lines like here and here and here. Natural geological layers maybe or some weird imposing patterns into the land possibly to a great depth so that we could dig 500 feet down and still find uh, mostly natural looking patterns so here's a bunch of paths i would say like this this i don't mm, I'm not inclined to say that it's just differential erosion. It looks like some type of mechanical thing going on. Like here it continues. And you'll see it's more blatant along some... Well, I guess this is slightly off axis. So that may not be the same feature. Uh, but like... You'll see the very faint edges of them. Of it. Them. It or them when considered in plural. So these very faint edges, It's so it's a subtle thing in some cases. And sometimes you'll see a more blatant pattern just kind of fade into a more uh, faint pattern over the same path or along the same path. So you need to look out for that as well. So the cliff notes would be, uh, in my best guess, this whole area of Mali and all these other countries as well is um, has a kind of patchy, worked over look to it. And it also has these long straight lines. So that's the summary. And that's pretty much all you need to know, unless you want to watch more. So I'll show you more. Let me get my bearings and see where we left off here. So we covered these. So this line keeps going and going. And tough to say where it branches or what, like what's a branch of the same path and what's like a, a different path that's like intersecting it. Okay, here's another area of it. So we've got this guy. And some curvature to it. So it's a parallel thing here. And here's more like flowy natural looking ones like this. This a little more straight, but who knows? This looking more like flowy and natural, so it's it's a tough call, I admit. This maybe artificial. So, we have our guy, continuing here, and see stuff like this. See how clean and well defined it is, and in some cases it could be like a road that's retrofitted from a natural feature. Certainly possible, like a dirt path or dirt road. I don't know. I'm seeing like a mechanical path. Um, I'm just 
thinking weird thoughts in my head. I was thinking it would be funny to have Giorgio Tsoukalos, the UFO big hair guy. I think it would be funny to have him narrate this. <laughs> or, or David <laughs> David Hatcher Childress. Some kind of something. Feature scarring the landscape on a massive scale. I'm horrible at accents, by the way. So here's these possible curvature things. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's like potential edges of former rivers, like former river bank. Uh, again, all of this is a pretty tough call or much of it and see the these lines they do meander a little bit there's certain stretches where they're pretty darn straight um, this one okay this one up here is looking pretty straight but is it a road I don't think so see like here's a road here or a river or whatever I think this is a road. Um, and then here's like a, just a straight thing. And bunches of them. So it's as if someone plopped um, a jillion pounds of putty on the landscape and like uh, tooled it or uh, sculpted it, and flat earth, round earth, hell if I know, I don't know, man. I don't really actually, I mean, I spent a good deal of time researching that. I can't say I have strong enough opinions to present my opinions on that, so I, I really don't know. I mean, neither would surprise me. So faint angular patchiness, whole area. So it's like this kind of look to it, this angular er, 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 herky-jerky look, which is, okay, civilizational in nature in some spots. Mm, a lot of subtle things. I almost feel like I'm cherry picking sometimes, but then every once in a while I'll see an example, which is like, okay, that's a little much. Let's see if we can find some angularness. Mm. Not right off the bat here. Um. Mm. And part of it's the rendering of the image. Like this is just a rocky outcrop area. So it's not patchy. So for reference, here we have more natural flowy looking patterns or creases or ridge uh, grooves like this. So these could be natural or artificial. And I, uh, I could, I could see either one being the case. So I don't know. All right, so basically this long guy just continues and continues. And a stretch of it here, and pretty faint in some, uh, some parts of it, but you do see like a clearly defined edge of it here as well maybe. Uh, let me get rid of this. So, so let me turn it back on and then off again. So you see what I'm talking about? It's pretty faint, but there it is. So it's subtle, but it's there. And it looks like it continues here. 
and then maybe curves a little bit. Uh, not looking like a road, can we agree on that? But sometimes it has like a almost a well defined edge like this. And maybe here. And yeah, this continuation of it basically. So, so I wonder if like the San Andreas Fault in California and the, the Walker Lane Fault, or if that's what that is, in the previous video in California, if those are similar to this, it's like a long, goofy maneuver type something or other. And see here, it's looking much more mechanical to my eye. We've got this pretty clean edge here and might even be multiple pass throughs and this is the faint angularity I'm referring to like, like like these are what I would consider potential maneuvers like that like that pretty faint again yeah but if it's there it's there and if it's inexplicable then what's the explic? And this, again, the possible faint patchiness, like this er, 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 angular, subtle look to it, which uh, it would surprise me if it's all modern human activity. And by modern, I mean like in the last 2,000 years of conventionally accepted history. Like, are these all like old farms or something? I don't know, I doubt it. So here's like a clean bare spot along this path. And then continuing fairly well defined there and multiple edges here. So uh, I don't think it's a simple, I've said, I've said this many times now, but I don't think it's a simple uh, one dimensional tool that's doing this. I think it's something which can wobulate and modulate in very strange ways and very sophisticated ways along whatever course it's taking. Stuff like this, like this even. Okay. So I believe it. Are we? Okay. I think we're to the end of it, basically, or to the end of what I wanted to show. Uh, hopefully that's enough to at least get you to raise an eyebrow. And just briefly show you some additional place marks in the area. So this is the patchy worked over pattern I'm referring to. And it's like the whole country. So anywhere you zoom in, it's the patchy look. And this would be a, an example of the possible pre-prepped pre or pre-zoned land or mm, I still have a, a tough time saying that with any kind of conviction just because there's a lot of people in the world and they do we do a lot of activity so I mean mm, yeah. <laughs> I know that's not very helpful, but just hypothesizing and presenting the potential possibility that a lot of this angular patchiness is not due to conventional means. Could it be due to a retooling, resurfacing something or other? Could. So thousands of square miles, fangular, fangular, faint angular patchiness. So just a general look at the area, faint long lines again, and uh, like this, that kind of look to it. Uh, it's suspicious to me like 
interfered by uh, something weird. And then straight parallel lines, maybe. Just these two right here. Just more of the same, more of those types of lines and maybe even like So, that's old grid. Uh, yeah, and then this whole West Africa area has this patchy old grid pattern underlying everything, or seemingly everywhere, or manywhere, lots of places. Possible real streaks or fake ones, I don't know. E yeah, just worked over on a large scale. Angular zigzaggy river. Maybe. I think I already showed this anyways. But yeah, this would be the old grid look. The WTF. Double UTF. Patterns. Okay. Um, I'm just kind of zooming in at random here, trying to give you a sense of the scale of, uh, where are we now, Nigeria? Apache, whole country worked over, perhaps, perhaps. So again, the, the patchwork quilt kind of look to it. So how much of that is modern? Slash and burn farming, any number of farming techniques, clear cutting, deforestation, irrigation, any number of modern thingamajigs, possible, certainly possible, I don't know. This area in what, Congo now? Cameroon. And long straight groove, whole area, phony, maybe. So, what groove do I mean? I think I mean this guy, like this, right here. So, there's plenty of these faint lines here, like this. Some of them possibly natural, and I regret not being able to definitively demonstrate what I'm talking about, because I still feel, or at least in this episode, I still feel like there's plenty of room for doubt. Uh, based on what I've presented or not presented in this episode, Possible parallel, something there. Um, Ippy. Ag Banjo. That's, this sounds like the name of a metal bluegrass band. Ag Banjo. Okay. Possible natural. Streaks, possible uh, artificial ones. I don't know. All right, I mean, I could show you more and more. And if I was a little better organized, I could probably show you some. Uh, uh, I bleh, can't talk today. A higher density of strong examples per minute watched. I would like to do that if I were a little better organized. Uh, so I'm just kind of bouncing around between miscellaneous examples at this point. But all right, let's leave Africa and go to, sorry, I can't remember what the next one was. The next one was, dur, dur, dur. Uh, okay, that was Molly. Iraq, let's go over to Iraq real quick. So, I think this is Iraq, yes. And up here in Northern Iraq, 
we have um, well first of all the patchiness of the whole area I've already pointed out and then that still image just revisiting this one briefly in the context of the long long straight lines discussion kind of fades in here and then we got a big ditch here and it kind of fades out and then fades back in and some of that could just be to due to weathering obviously and then it kind of peters out and it's not carrying any water I'll give you a quick historical look at it it's about what 200 feet across at the narrowest part so feet 100 or 150 here to here is about 100 feet across so this isn't like one maneuver with a, a tractor or I mean a like a whatever those big earth mover machines are called even the biggest ones I don't think are 100 or 200 feet wide you know I guess I could be wrong there but uh, okay historical photos So 1984, not getting much. Uh, oh, is this the one that I was suspecting was uh, recent? Uh, see, it's like between 95, 94, 93, 91. It may or may not be there. It's like too blurry, you know what I mean? So 91, 92. It does look like it appears in 94, so it might be recent, might be. That doesn't mean it's not part of this protocol, I would say. Just because it doesn't look like it's ever been used for anything. It's not carrying water, it's not a road, it's just like chilling there. Maybe it's part of an abandoned project or like a military project, even like a secret military project or something. Like just uh, trying to test out the power of uh, a new space weapon or something if space is real <laughs> and then all these uh, these uh, uh, segmentations that may be part of some type of resurfacing as well and these may or may not be central pivot farms, likely. Okay, but uh, where else? I saw some additional ones down here. The, the whole area has a bunch of these long ditch thingies. Could probably just zoom in randomly and find one. Mm, no luck. But you do see the, the patchy parallelness of the whole landscape which I don't think is entirely modern conventional stuff. So let's go to another one of those ditches over here, down here. Um, see these ones like they curve and uh, it seems to uh, wind up in this operation. So it's entirely possible that it, whatever this operation is, just kind of moves locations every few years like this whatever this industrial thing is um, and then this is whatever they do like mining or something so this big ditch which is not looking particularly functional in all cases it looks like it might be a road here See, here's a road. This is just like a ditch intersecting it. And it kind of continues. Maybe another one here. Maybe. Yeah, it continues and continues and continues. Spoil piles along the side, perhaps. Continues, continues. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I don't know what it is, but here we also have multiple straight lines, kind of like in Mali, like we were seeing at the beginning of this video, or the previous area in Africa. And this, see these faint long lines? Something. Sculpty Walty. Mining certainly could be it's a pretty sizable operation here, so but maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, here's another one that a long one that kind of curves down here and looks like it might end up and kind of goes across this. Mm. Yeah, it might be part of this operation. All right. Uh, zoom in up here. Here it kind of branches off into a road, or there's one in parallel to it. And again, everything, not everything that's done by modern conventional means is necessarily off the hook. Like we have, I don't know, I, I suspect there's ongoing weirdness. Like unfold, unfolding <clears throat> according to some kind of script and then it just continues and continues utilizing whatever methods are available. Possibly, maybe dirt piles of whatever sand they're collecting. I don't know. Okay, uh, next example, I think was in Brazil, maybe. Yeah, this one, we'll go look here. We'll look at these last two examples in Brazil. And So Rio Mamon Guape, I think that's like, where is that? Amazon River, oh, it's over here. Okay, so like this area of Brazil, on the east tip. So this is that example. Uh, we have this river here and this, so like here's the natural, or apparently natural, trajectory of the river. And then here, uh, this could be a modern edit to the river for conventional purposes. I just find it interesting that there's a collinear aspect here, like in there, and then here faintly continuing like that. See that? So, and then possibly curving and continuing. <clears throat> uh, historical photos real quick. So 1969 and 2003 are the same photo, so I'm not sure which is which. So I don't know how, how far back this shows us, but uh, certainly see some, the same pattern here. And no me, Sorry about that. No meandering since uh, however far back this photo is, like the river seems to hold the shape. Dang it. Clouds. But yeah, so I mean, we should expect if nature just runs its course that some areas of river should meander and others might not, depending on the local conditions. Um, just to summarize here, we have the natural river, this artificially straight looking stretch, which may or may not be modern. Um, this another stretch here and uh, another stretch here, right? And then it goes uh, natural again, or fairly natural. 
So uh, it could just be people, you know, modern civilization making it easier on ourselves for navigation purposes, just making shortcuts and stuff. Certainly possible. Um, see anything else I want to show in the area? Not really. Uh, let's see. Awkward bear patches. Maybe. So, like these patches. Possibly part of the same terraforming deal. Like this bear patch. Maybe. Even like this, and who knows what else? So, yeah, it continues pretty far. Okay. All right, let's go to this other example at the opposite end of Brazil, the west edge of Brazil on the border with, uh, I think, Bolivia. So let's look here. Here we go. Get rid of these for a second. And see this guy here? It's like it could be former river path, like the edge of the meander. Uh, it's just awkwardly straight in my opinion. So we've got from like here to there, it's like pretty much dead straight. And then maybe even continuing like over here like this, potentially. This may be like a, a sweep or some type of artificial thing. Um, okay. So this is like mechanically awkward, I would say. And it, it has to be considered both this, which is like almost straight, but looks a little more natural. And then also I highlighted a couple other examples like right, uh, right here. See, this almost looks like a, a runway. It's just like a, a straight gash. And even this, like, in, uh, fairly abruptly interrupting the trajectory. Like, that's a pretty awkward interrupt. And it's very clean line. Here's another right there. Here's another right there. So, uh... I mean, I have to admit that they could be natural. Here's an, another look at these. They look fairly artificial to me. All right, like here, like the uh, the streak maker, the the thing that went around making fake streaks. It's like it went like. See what I mean? Um, like this area, like right here. It's like. And then it continues like a straight trajectory. It's like an awkward straight path. And I, I have mentioned before that rivers do overtake one another, or um, I'm sorry, themselves. Rivers uh, overwrite themselves in this continual looping process. And let's take a look at the historical photos in a moment to see if that's what's going on. But um. It's just the cleanness with which uh, it appears to do so. Like these these lines, you would expect it to look a little more messy, but there's so much. It's so crisp. I don't know. So what other spots did I highlight? Uh, yeah. So like these straight lines across. This guy just a little weird, and then the parallel components here, and. Um, let's look at these right here. So right here, um, so I'm just considering this in the context of the long straight lines discussion 
just because these are well long straight lines kind of and I hesitate to put a percentage on it I almost said 50 50 but I could see this being natural Ugh. but it's, it's too irksome it's too much like especially like this guy going across here it's very straight like it's pretty faint but it's there zoom out you can see it all the way across and this going all the way across so this guy so I think these are phony river streaks and I also think I highlighted right here like possible angular end to this and fairly similar since what 2011 doesn't tell us a whole lot but even this is slightly angular tough to say but yeah definite straight line there if you look close enough modern activity I don't know Let's see how much this has changed. So not much change really since 2003. Early non. Uh, what do we got? 69. I don't know if that's a legit picture, but just looking at like these, the shape of these river loops, let's just see if those change at all since 69. Doesn't appear to. I mean, if you just kind of uh, keep your eyes on one portion of this river and see if it changes looks pretty much the same so this isn't one that's meandering a significant amount I think maybe a little let's see it might it might be meandering a little bit I think yeah but uh, I think that's natural meandering on top of artificially phony streaks that's my best guess so take it with a grain of whatever I don't know I'm trying to be clever but salt I guess <clears throat> maybe another thing here dirt all right uh, one more one or two more, just a couple more over here, general area. So could be natural or maybe not, but mechanically straight for parts of it. Okay. And I think I wanted to show some, hang on a second. So this guy's pretty straight. And some of them are reasonably straight, but they're still flowy. So this could, it could just be, again, statistical chance that some of these lines are straight looking. Cause it's like, there's more curvature and then it kind of thins out and eventually it becomes straight. Uh, for a while before it changes direction but ah oh, just the crisp crispness of it like these very crisp parallel lines here I don't know okay and one or two more maybe over here So I just wanted to include this one for comparison because it looks fairly straight, but it has, like, it has that kind of similar uh, mechanical look to it. But this is one that has more of a natural trajectory. It's a little more windy and less straight. So it could be that the ones that are, um, <clears throat> the ones that are straight, or almost perfectly straight, are done by the same means as the natural 
flows which make this one, but it just happens to look straight in some parts as possible. But even as I say that, I'm seeing like a st very straight one right here, like very awkwardly straight, pretty faint, but right there. And then possible angles here. My best guess is still that the area is mostly artificially edited and then some natural flows obviously occurring in the area as well. So uh, like we have this clean lip here that could be natural or artificial. I don't know, just putting it there for reference just to show us one that's very similar to the straight ones I'm pointing out, but that's not perfectly straight. Um, all right, so I think that's it for this video. Um, angle, maybe. Well, that's it for this video. I can't remember which topic is next, but uh, we will cover that topic and I'll see you then. Later.